In this video, we're going to learn about the skeletal system. We'll look at what the skeletal system is, the names of some bones in the human body, as well as the structure of bones and the functions of the skeleton. Let's start by looking at what the skeletal system is. The skeletal system, which is the same thing as the skeleton, refers to all the bones in the body. In the human body, there are 206 bones in total. Now you don't need to know them all, but we're going to run through some of the most important ones that come up in biology. You probably already know the skull. This is the bone that protects your brain. Then here we have the spine or backbone, which is really important for your posture and protects your spinal cord. The rib cage isn't a single bone. It's actually made up of lots of smaller bones called ribs. The job of the rib cage is to protect important organs like your heart and your lungs. Here at the front of the rib cage, then, is a bone called the sternum. This is sometimes called the breastbone, and it provides extra protection for your heart. The rib cage is connected to the bones of the arm by the clavicle, which is normally called the collarbone. There are a few different bones in the arm. The bone in the upper arm is called the humerus. Then in the lower arm, we have the ulna and the radius. There's one big bone in your upper leg called the femur. This is connected to the bones in your lower leg by this small bone called the patella. You might know this bone better as the kneecap though. Then in the lower leg, there are two bones. The larger one is called the tibia and the smaller one is called the fibula. Along with the muscles they're connected to, these bones let us walk, run and jump with coordinated movements. Next, let's take a look at the structure of bones. If we were to look inside a bone, we'd see that it's made up of two layers. This part in brown is the outer layer. The outer layer is hard and dense, which helps to make bones strong and rigid. This part in pink, then, is the inner layer. The inner layer is made up of spongy tissue, which has lots of gaps in it that make the inner layer a lot lighter than the outer layer is. However, it is still really strong. The inner layer also contains bone marrow, which we'll learn about in more detail later on in the video. To finish up then, let's learn a bit more about the functions of the skeleton, which basically means the jobs or roles that the skeletal system has in the body. There are four main functions you need to know about. Protection, support, making blood cells, and movement. As we mentioned previously, bone is strong. And this means it helps to protect organs from damage. For example, your skull protects your brain and different bones protect other vital organs, such as the heart and the lungs. Another key function of the skeletal system is that the structure of the skeleton provides a stable frame and holds the body upright. This helps us to move around and not collapse on the floor. Now we mentioned earlier that the inner layer of a bone contains bone marrow. This is important because bone marrow makes two main types of blood cell that it releases into the bloodstream. Red blood cells, which transport oxygen around the body, but also white blood cells, which help to protect us from infection. Now, if we think about movement, remember that bones are attached to muscles. Bones work with these muscles, but also with tendons and joints in order to allow the body to move about. If you haven't heard yet, you can find all of our videos on our website, cognito.org. You'll also find questions, flashcards, exam style questions, and past papers. And we track all of your progress so that you always know what to study next. So sign up for free by clicking here or browse our playlist here on YouTube.